What are we looking at? What are we looking at here, Titus? Truck. Yeah, what are they doing? What he trim? So we're gonna go over a video I made yesterday. Okay, Uncle, I'm the star. You are the star, right? Um, just a coffee montage. And a little backstory to that, I've been pretty melancholy through this entire, well, not through this entire event, mostly the last couple of days. Um, I just had three days off, which I never have three days off. And I didn't have any video projects to work on, no photo projects to work on, just everything is, is completed. And so I'm just without anything creative to make or purpose to make something. So I've had, been having to find reasons. Hence why there's so many YouTube videos up here uh, lately. So I thought I'd go over one of the videos that I made yesterday, <clears throat> a coffee montage that um, i have woken up. I obviously wanted some coffee, a big coffee drinker. Um, and I thought, well, why don't I just make a little video of me making coffee, which is really difficult to do actually um or it might just be harder to do when you're just woken up and trying to put it together at the same time create something and wake up while feeding your kids um very tricky so anyways i'm gonna go over some of that right now and um around here so this opening scene here just make something right here just make something this whole scene here an idea comes from a little instagram video story video series story thing i was doing but i was doing back on maui uh creating content there and just uh, the idea is just make something just go out and do something doesn't matter what it is doesn't matter what it's about everything's got kind of a story to tell every day has a beginning a middle and an end and there's all these little stories that happen in between all the little micro interactions we have with people relationships the things we do whether it's prepping, uh, whether it's coffee or um, making a meal. Yeah, there's all kinds of stuff. We need to just make something. So yeah, let's just make something, our opening scene there. Um, and this jumps into you, this like pull away slider shot of our heart coffee from, uh, from Heart Coffee, Stereo Blend, uh, which is super great, not a sponsor yet. Um, yeah, and so when we shot this was one just kind of long pull back and then speed ramped out and then zooms back in. Really, that's just that same clip played in reverse, zooming back in. And really, if I was going to do that better, I'd probably, you know, one, get a slider. And if I don't have a slider, because I don't, or if you don't have a slider and you want to do a similar shot like this, a great way to do that would be to get like a rag, bag of beans or something, place that underneath your camera. Try to make it as level as possible or shoot in such a way where you can crop in later and just slide that guy back and slide that guy forward. You'll find it very smooth, very stabilized, and it looks super clean. So that's one of the first things I would do better right off the bat. The next thing I would do is I tried to shoot this coffee bean shot here um, at 120 frames. And so the camera I'm using is the Canon EOS R, and it can do 120 frames a second, uh, but only in 720, which actually looks really good. But the way I would have done this better was probably had like somebody else hold the camera for me and maybe do kind of like a swooping, kind of like circle shot around in the same area the coffee was at. So the first thing I noticed when we change angles here is it looks, it feels very janky. We go from having this really, really nice top down lighting with this really cool backlight. And then we switch over to this very warm, very shadowy, very grainy looking shot here. Um, and that way we would consider, could have seen the coffee beans falling a little bit more. Um, and I would have added more um, SFX or sound effects here, like the sound of the coffee beans hitting, hitting the container here would have been really cool. And in slow motion, if we were gonna do it that way, as the coffee beans are falling, going down and hitting there, I would zoom in physically with the camera uh, so it blacks out. And so that we could pull out of our next shot, which is the coffee grinder itself. This next scene here is with our little pulse grinder, which isn't a great way to grind coffee, nor is it very aesthetically pleasing. Um, what I probably would have liked to have done is use like a little burr grinder and, and that zoom out shot kind of spin out, maybe into like spinning the grinder 
Um, that way you can kind of get more of a smoother transition. And that was kind of a, the idea behind shooting a lot of this, is trying to do as many in-camera transitions as possible, as opposed to some of the, um, the purchase ones I have and I haven't used in previous videos. Not that those are bad, um, they all have their place. But, um, the more you can do in camera, the better I think, and it creates a better story, more seamless. And I feel like for me as a creator, it helps me be a little bit more focused going forward in everything that I do. Um, so from that shot, we kind of like pick up the grinder and drop it down, which I thought was really cool at the time when I did that to shoot this scene where this coffee filter drops in. I just thought that was cool. And probably should have dropped that in and then zoomed into that to kind of create a transition for our next shot where we kind of zoom into this next um, <clears throat> pour over V60 thing here. And you'll notice here, if you have a keen eye or you're not blind, that there's no coffee filter in our little V60. So yeah, that was a that was a mistake. That was just early. There's no reason why that should have happened. That's pretty inconsistent. But um, also, this the motion here isn't very fluid. And what I was finding to be really difficult was having my uh, lens and this lighting keep focus that quickly. So I'm thinking maybe a solution for that would be doing that push much slower, letting the camera track, 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 track. And what I was trying to do was push and move, do all the speed ramping uh, in camera, and it'd probably be better just to do it in post. It'd get much smoother. And as we pull out of there, I was really happy with how the coffee looks, uh, the filters reveal, and then it just cuts really hard at the water kettle. Um, ah, bubba. I think a better uh, way to do this little transition cut here would have been to have the camera fall off the counter and then come back up of the counter revealing us pouring coffee over. And that would have been really cool for the shot here. And we do have some little VFX on here with the water dropping. And I think with that <clears throat> counter to counter transition, it would have looked really cool and really made this whole scene really very, very, very seamless where it's more or less janky here. Um, and we kind of zoom into our coffee beans on top, which this really was just a filler shot. I needed something to fit in there and that's all I had. So that's what I did. Um, and we're kind of shaking our coffee, showing some motion. This is a very ugly shot too. Um, I mean, again, we really missed an opportunity here where we're shaking the coffee, swirling it around, and then we could have just twisted the camera to like blend into the next shot. Definitely missed opportunity there, for sure. And then we're just pushing into our final cup of coffee here, which again, much wider would have been great. And then speed ramp in to like the coffee mug itself would have been way cooler. And then pull out, revealing our finished cup of coffee. Um, and I thought a really cool way to end this, which I didn't do, was to kind of freeze off a frame here and then maybe have a flash or twist or blink and the coffee's like empty. And it's how can I help you? And that could have been a cool intro. And it's a coffee montage. Like it says at the end, it's done. Wash your hands, it's very important. Take this seriously, wash your hands. Um, yeah, and I would like it if you liked and subscribed. That'd be great. Well, thanks for watching. We'll have this uh, up for you soon.